Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, how are you? Hey, miss. Welcome. Wow, just four people today. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, no, it's Friday. <laughs> yes, it's not Friday. What happened? Too much traffic, probably. Yes. Mm -hmm. They haven't gotten home yet. They are in traffic. However, very tired. I know. <laughs> I know. It's Wednesday. It's just the middle of the week. Half week. Mm -hmm. Half of the week. Half the week. Yes. Teacher, ¿por qué se dice siempre the week? Do. Half. Huh? Es que lo que realmente está como uniendo es half of the week. La mitad de la semana. Ah, uh, of the week. Exactly, pero suenan así porque son como muy unidas las palabras. Sí. So it's half of the week. Of the week. Exactly. Okay. Aquí yo, yo creí que decía solo the week. <laughs> no, es half yo, of the week. <laughs> creo que el, el Yes, pero... it's, it's porque no se enfatiza. Como las palabras que más contexto dan es half en week. Uh -huh. Ajá, y las otras son como nada más unir. Half of the week. Ok. Hoy estaba aquí y estaba viendo unos, unas frases que son como uniones, decían ahí. Que decía, by the way, por uh -huh. cierto. Uh -huh. However, However, sin embargo. Exactly. Entonces, para unir ideas. Exactamente. Uh, linking. Uh -huh. Besides. Besides. Además. además Uh -huh. More over. Sobre todo. Además. Uh -huh. Además. Uh -huh. Apart, apart from. Entonces, aparte de. Uh -huh. Y anyway. Que es, el, que es el que usa todo el mundo. <risa> de todos modos. Anyways. Uh -huh. Yes. Y true. since. Since. Uh -huh. Ya que. Puede ser ya que o desde. Si desde. Estamos hablando. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero es, ajá, es, si lo usamos desde, es como desde tal fecha. Mm. Since, since 2019 o since 2020, people receive classes online. Ok. Mm -hmm. O since I don't have money, I don't go out. <laughs> sí. Yes, that's good. Increasing the vocabulary. The story of my life. <laughs> Okay, that is um, what a melon sugar. What is the Miss, name of that singer? <laughs> hey, Miss, que poquito sabemos. Fernando, good evening, welcome. Good evening. No, ya estaba. Miss. No ya sé que poquito estamos en lugar de hablar inglés. Good evening, Fernando. How are you? <laughs> Ay, Señor Jesús. Oh my good. Oh my en inglés decirle, en inglés decirle. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Hi. Good evening. How are you, Fernando? Good evening, Miss. How was your day? Did you have a good day? Did you finish all the activities at work? No, las acabo de terminar, por cierto. En inglés. Ay, lo voy a traducir. <laughs> Gran dependencia del translator. Think and get the ideas. Connect yeah. the words. No, miss. That's the way it is. That's the ah, way it should be. Uh -huh. es, es como que sería I just finish it. I just finish. Es just, just finish it or just, just finish. finish? I just finished. Pero el, porque ED, me parece... el ED del pasado se pronuncia como... Como una, una T. I just finished. Just finished. Exactly. I just finished. All right. You finished at home the activities from work. Yes. Really? Yes. Why do you take homework no me... from work? Nah, no me alcanza el día. Really? <laughs> That's terrible. Eh, que sería the day is not a no for me. The day is too short. Es muy corto, mis. Si short. solo tiene como 24 horas. 
24 hours. <laughs> to 24. <laughs> All right, Fernando. And everybody, how are you doing? Say something on the chat. Say good evening. Say hello. Nobody say anything on the chat. No good, no good. Hi, <laughs> hello, Margarita. Good evening. How are you? Is it raining? No raining. Thank God. It's not raining here either. It's not raining. Thank God. Because when it rains, it's terrible. All right, I have a tired day. <gasps> Sorry to hear that. I sleep. I am sleeping. I look. <laughs> <laughs> I look go to the, the short of street. street. <clears throat> uh, I look and landslide. There was a terrible landslide. Yes. Yes, but they fix already. They clean up. The mop. Did they clean? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Yes, because it's terrible. That and that is a eternal problem in Los Chorros. There is always landslide. <laughs> rock slides as well. Not only land, but also rocks. Yes, it's a problem eternal. And they and they supposed to construct another another street, right? Yes, Viaducto but, Francisco Morazan. But when? This year, um, next year, in the future, maybe in 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Infections. Similar to, to Boulevard Monseñor Romero, that it took for about 25 years to be constructed. And now, what a similar, shame. similar uh, uh, Aqueducto Miami. Mm, <laughs> never. <laughs> All right. People, don't sleep, don't fall asleep. It's just Wednesday. Let's get ready. Let's study. Let's Miss. be productive. Hello, Fer. Uh, one question. Uh, okay. Name sleep. Uh, no, perdón. Uh, Snoopy uh, is name proper. Proper the noun. Proper name, proper noun. Yes. Oh. Snoopy. Oh. But Snoopy también puede significar alguien que me teacher. <laughs> ah, Por eso creo que se le pusieron Snoopy al dog Because it was like Everywhere ah, <laughs> So if somebody is like Always paying attention See here, see there You can say, don't be a Snoopy Don't be nosy You can say that Alright, well We waited for the rest to attend the class But I see not more people attending So we're going to have uh personalized class today probably so what day is today today is wednesday august august 17th 17 2022 20, 20. 22. that's right today is wednesday august 17th of 2022 this is our video conference number 12 and the topic uh -huh. how to use sample to use information, information question how to use simple 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 information question. simple, simple. <laughs> very simple Word. but because of the simple present okay so you don't use future or you don't use past okay so that's what it refers to okay so at the end of the session participants will be able to use simple present information questions and of course we're gonna get started let's just get the attendance because we are already 8 11 and it's time for the attendance okay so we have uh, alicia marcela 
Not yet, right? Andrea. Present. Blanca. Not yet. Diana. Present. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Edgar. Edgar, Edgar. I saw Edgar, no. Not yet. Aún no, not yet. <laughs> Sleeping. Edith, Maritza. Fernando. Present, Miss. Gabriela. Margarita. Present. Hands. Not hands yet. Isaac, not yet. Jose Daniel. Jocelyn. Juan Miguel. Manuel. Manuel. Not here. All right. Oscar Rene. Yes. Present, Miss. All right. Raul, Enrique. Present. Hi, Rodrigo and Sandra. Present. Hi. Welcome, welcome. All right. Well, it's all right. It's all right. Let's see. Write on the chat as many questions as you remember. Vamos a ver cuántas questions se recuerdan usando what in the chat. On the chat. Now. Sin copiar, don't cheat. <laughs> Whatever question you remember using what. What's your name? What do you do? Exactly. Mm -hmm. What time is it? Where are you from? Uh -huh. Use what, only what. Or nowhere, what? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What are you doing? What's your profession? Just what? What about you? Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh. What's up? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What? What else? All right. Where do you live? No, what do you live? Okay. What is your surname? Uh huh. Could be. What is your last name? What's your favorite color? What do you have for breakfast? All right. What do you do in the morning? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Now, what kind of music do you like? Right, correct. Now, questions with where? Where, where, where? where? What are you thinking about? Okay. Where do you live? Yes, I was the first one. Uh huh. Where do you live? Uh huh. Where do you work? What else? What else? Where? 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 Okay. Okay. Where did you? Where do you buy your jeans? All right. Where do you spend your weekend? Where are you from? Okay. All right. No more questions with where? When? Right questions use when. When? Mm 
when when hmm? just when all right when se Ahí está ya. All right. <laughs> What happened? When? When did you graduate? Pasó de nuevo o es lo mismo? No, pasó de nuevo. I think it's the internet. Rosa. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off the Me camera. Me aparecen en rojito su perrita. This rain, rain. I know, it's not raining. It's just the internet, it's unstable. Mm -hmm. So it seems that the signal is terrible. Give me one second. I'm going to move something, hold on. Okay. All right. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Much better now. All right. Yes. Oh, thank you. Okay. When do you graduate? When when do you come? When do you go to the cinema? Uh -huh. When did you when did the bus pass? Okay. When is your birthday? All right, using when. Okay. When do you study? When do you finish work? Okay. When do you have classes? Right? You can ask a lot of questions using when. Now, let's say, ask questions using why. Have you ever seen the word why? Why? Mm -hmm. Why did you do that? Why do you do that? Uh -huh. Oh my God. <laughs> Why? Why do you save money? Why do you study English? Why do you work so hard? Why are you sad? Uh -huh. Why do you spend a lot of time on the computer? Why do you need more internet? Why do you go to school? Why do you like it so much? All right. Why? Okay. Okay. Why are you pretty? <laughs> All right. Why do you spell that? Why do you spell that word? Okay. It can be. All right, and the last one said, why do you go to the cinema? Exactly, because I like it. <laughs> All right, why do you stay at home? Why do you eat vegetables, right? So you can use any action as long as you respect the structure. Why? Auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement, right? That's the structure you can ask any question. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me get the book. One second, please. I just need to get right here. Let's see. These are the questions, information, simple questions. All right. Yes, we started yesterday with the vocabulary and we just asked very few questions regarding this. So, 
Why do you come late? Now? <laughs> Why are you angry? Why do you? Why do you study? Why do you practice? Why do you read? Why do you listen? Right? So, why do you wear those jeans? Any reason? Why? Why? Why is Jose que estar por ti? No es que yo quería poner hambriento, pero pues ah. enojado. <laughs> angry or hungry? Yes. <laughs> okay. You say angry, enojado. And hungry is hambriento, okay? So that's a difference. Angry, hungry. Las dos terminan en gri. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, true. All right. So here we go. We are going to share the presentation. Give me one second. Oh, so more people are connected now. Welcome. Edgar, Manuel. And Jocelyn, hi. <laughs> Welcome. Let me get your attendance. Edgar, Manuel, and Jocelyn. Jocelyn, Jocelyn. Oh my God. Jocelyn. All right. Yo, yo dije presente la primera vez. Really? Yes. Oh my God, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, that's right. Okay. So here we go. As I was asking you to write simple present information question, right? So we have written questions with what, with where, with when, and why. Only four, four type of questions we have written, right? So that was the first thing we were gonna do. So this was the idea to put all the questions here. So later on, I'm gonna write the questions that you wrote on the chat, okay? So this is just to clarify, it's para como aclarar, okay? Para persona vamos a utilizar who. Queremos hablar, queremos preguntar acerca de alguien, decimos who. Who ask about a person, Act as a subject of the sentence. Who is that woman? Who are you phoning? Okay, who? Who is your best friend? Who is your hero? Who do you live with? Yes, so we're talking about people. Yes, who? Who do you like? All right, and then when we talk about a place, or a position, we use where? Asking in or at what place or position? Where do you live? Where are my boots, right? For place, we use where? When? Asking about time, location, or moment. When can I see you? When did you last see him? When do you study? When do you go on vacation, right? When do you have meetings? When do you finish the project, right? Why? Why we ask about? Uh -huh. Asking for? For a recent explanation. For a reason or an explanation. Why, why were you late? <laughs> why was he late? So why do you come late? Why didn't you? Okay. Why do you speak Spanish? What? When do we use what? When asking for a specific thing or object. What's the matter? What time is it? What do you do? What is your favorite movie? Right? How? How when asking for way, manners, or form? Right? Say, like how? How do you go to work? How do you do that? How do you behave at work? How do you study, right? Which, 
when do we use which? We use which when we are two choices, two or more choices. Cuando tienen más de dos posibilidades, dos opciones. So we say, which is better, exercise, swimming, or tennis? Which is a better exercise, swimming or tennis? Tenemos dos opciones, ¿cuál de las dos? Yes? Which is a better exercise, swimming or tennis? Which of the applicants has got the job? ¿Cuál de todos los que aplicaron obtuvo el trabajo? Okay, and how many? We use how many asking about quantities, right? We use with countable nouns. How many people were there? Yes. And how many books do you have? How many children do you have? Yes, Bert? Is a uh, countable and incountable or just for countable? Any, uh, for countable. For not countable, you say how much? Oh, mm -hmm. thanks. How many is only for countable? Like books, computers, pens, glasses. Oh my God. No puedo acceder al enlace. Somebody is trying to get to the class. What's wrong with the, with the link? Pero siempre es el mismo link. Right? It's the same link. Yes, okay. le puede dar el mismo link. Uh -huh. Ahí le va a aparecer actualizada la fecha. Exactly. Uh -huh. Please. Uh -huh. All right. So, how often asking about frequency? Con qué frecuencia, right? How often do you go swimming? How often do you exercise? How often do you go to the beach? How often do you go shopping, right? So, con qué frecuencia? How often do you uh, take vitamins? How often do you go to the doctor, right? So, this is mostly the most common. No es que estas son todas las information questions, pero las más comunes. Las que más nos ayudan a sacar como la, las dudas más obvias. Who, where, when, why, what, how, which, how many, how often. Yes, Andrea. And you say how much is for no uncountable. Uh, or uncountable, yes. Uncountable, okay. Uncountable. Um, how many for countable? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. For example, no countable can be the money, the water, the food, the sugar. So you say, how much sugar do you put in your coffee? You say two spoon or one spoon, pero ahí no está contando en sí el azúcar, está contando las cucharadas de azúcar, right? So, how much water do you drink? Para que los no countable se vuelvan countable, lo que usamos son las unidades de, me de medida. Y decimos, oh, one liter of water, two bottles of water, right? Estamos contando ya las botellas o los litros. All right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ok, igual le voy a compartir este screenshot, no se preocupen. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me see. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here. There you go. Okay. Vaya, para que se puedan ir guiando, igual aquí está el, el manual, su piría. Y acá tenemos <laughs> exercise. <laughs> In this exercise, you have the answer. Obviously, para saber qué es lo que debo preguntar. O sea, ¿cómo debo estructurar la question? Debo leer detenidamente la answer. En la answer me da la pista de qué es lo que se debió haber preguntado para que alguien responda así. Por ejemplo, number one. I have to write a report about the production every Friday. Mm -hmm. I have to write a report, report. 
about the production every Friday. Um, what do you do, do, you do in do your work? work? Oh. What do you do on Fridays? Podría ser. Uh -huh. What do you do at work on Fridays? Could be. ¿Qué otra posibilidad tiene? Si yo les, les enfatizo every Friday. Uh -huh. Si yo estoy enfatizando every Friday, ¿cuál debería ser la question? What do you have to When... do every Friday? Or okay. what do you do on Friday? Uh -huh. What do you do on Friday? Or oh, what do you do every Friday? Mm -hmm. What do you do every Friday? I write a report. Or when... Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Somebody's having problems. When? When? When, when to have to, or when to have write a report. Okay. When do you have to write a report? Exactly. Or when do you write a report? Mm -hmm. That could be. When do you write a report? I write. I have to write a report every Friday. Okay. Nice. Let me just. All right. How come this person says that he's not allowed to enter? Um. Wait a second. Okay, please. Um. Mm. Wait. I don't know who it is. What? Let's try to help. All right. So you have two possibilities. Okay. When do you write a report, or when do you have to write a report? Or what do you do every Friday? Yes? Ya lo recibieron? Did you write it? Yes, okay. Next, number two. I work in the blue building. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you, Where work? Do you work? Exactly. Probably the company has different buildings, right? Blue building, a white building. Uh, what is the yeah, color the of uh -huh. the your building? Could be what's the color of your building or what is the color of the building where you work? So where do you work? It's fine. Okay. Because we're asking simple questions. Where do you work? Okay. Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. <laughs> When Maria and you start at work. <laughs> When Maria, antes de Maria, ¿qué necesitamos? You and Maria. Ajá, pero antes del sujeto, de los sujetos, ¿qué Where necesitamos? Do Ajá. When do you and Maria start working? Okay, when do you and Maria start working? Or when do you, I guess it's already in the same, Maria, so ustedes, right? When do you start working? That's right. We start working at 10 p.m. We design and others create the new products. Mm -hmm. We design and others create the new products. Mm 
Mm -hmm. It's the easy. We design and others create new products. What, what do they? What do they do? To be or what do you do? Because we design and others create new products. All right. They have a meeting because. Okay, we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. Aquí la palabra clave es because. Why? 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 Why do they have a meeting? Why do they have a meeting? Exactly. Espero que las hayan escrito. No tengo ninguna doubt. Let me see. Vamos a ver. Ok, ¿cómo dijimos que nos había quedado la number one? What do you do on Friday? What do you do on Friday? On oh, Friday. What do you do on Friday night? I go to parties. <laughs> y la otra posibilidad. When do you write a report? When do you write a report? So those possibilities solo para the number one. Okay. Number two. Mm -hmm. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? We got, okay, so repeating those question mark, but yes, I'm a question mark. I need number three. Mm -hmm. What's number three? When do you and Maria start working? Exactly. Or what time could they start here, right? When, vamos a dejar así, pleca. <laughs> what time do you and Maria, Maria, start working? I start working at 10, I start working at 7. Okay, when do you and Maria start working? What time do you and Maria start working? At 10 p.m. We start working at 10 p.m. All right, number four. What do they do? What do they do? To be. So what do you do? Okay. Let's put it right here. What do they do? It's a possibility. What do you do? Okay. And number five. Why do they have a meeting? Why do they have a meeting? Why do they have a meeting? They have a meeting because they have to talk about inflows and outflows. All right. Awesome. Spectacular. Questions? No? No questions? Sure. Okay. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. All right. Erase, can I erase, delete, clear, bingo. No, no, copy, copy. Ah. Oh my God, I did it already. ¿Por cuál iba? Control Z, Adel. Are you sure? Yeah. Really? Vaya, es que borra todo. <laughs> All right, and you delete everything. Come on.
control Z. All right. Excel. I know. Yes. Expert. A specialist. A Microsoft Excel specialist. Yes. That's traumatic. <laughs> For my students, ayer tuvieron su certificación. Wow, yes. cuando ya no tienen la de nosotros. Imagine, they were crying porque algunos failed. I know. Not everybody's good at Excel. Yes. You need a lot of practice, a lot of concentration. Right. Sociology. No, una de las carreras más, más difíciles Difficult. son ingeniería aeronáutica. Era ingeniería eh, química. All eh, the engineering. Eh, y hay otro que se llama... Ay, solo de esos dos me recuerdo. Pero sí son cinco las, las más difíciles. The top. Sí. sí. Yes. También tuvimos un estreno que estaba en aeronáutica. En ah, US, el, electricista era. Uh, electricista. Engineering. El, sí, ingeniería engineer. eléctrica. Uh -huh. sí. También tenemos un estreno. El caso de ese estudiante, eh, it was terrible porque no solo estaba estudiando aeronáutica, but he was studying Russian porque la carrera estaba estudiando en, Rus en Rusia. Couldn't make it. Desistió. So now he graduated as flight attendant for Qatar Airway. But now he is in Qatar. Ah, in Qatar. Una de esas acaban de premiar a las cinco mejores aerolíneas del mundo. It's ninguna Qatar es la, ninguna es americana. <laughs> ninguna. Imagine. No. I know. It's because Americans don't really like to work. I mean, they just like business. They just like money, but they don't like to work. Todos los, los employees de los American Airlines no son americanos. No. Uh -huh. No, hay otra que se llama Spirit. Uh -huh. Es solo eh, Sky, Sky Black. Uh -huh. Yes, just Afro-American people. Working. Yes, Afro-American, Florida. Uh -huh. Es el Hope. Eh. Me imagino. El Hope es el Lord Day. I know, terrible. <laughs> Did you finish? Yes. Yes. All right, perfect. Done. Okay, here, más o menos algunas de las question words que yo les estaba presentando al inicio. Create questions with why, I mean, WH words, right? Provide us below. Tenemos what, when, where, why, who. One, two, three, four, five. Como las más comunes, como yo les explicaba al inicio, ¿verdad? Entonces, ya lo hicimos, ya creamos las questions, ya estuvimos ahí tratando de estructurar. ¿Ok? Now we have a conversation. Where do you work? Ask questions about someone else's duties. Duties es otra palabra que significa activities. ¿Ok? The activities that you do at work. So, the duties that you do at the workplace. ¿Ok? So those are the activities. You say, I check emails, I take attendance, I supervise the, the employees, I receive phone calls, I create reports, I attend customers, I visit customers, I check the control quality and whatever you do. Whatever activity that you do at work can be the duties at the workplace, right? So you ask some classmates about the duties that they have to perform in the workplace and chair, of course. So here it says, listen to the teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Obviously, we are un tiempito para que ustedes la vean primero y traten de identificar de qué trata la conversation. In the meantime, I'm getting my water. Y si hay alguna duda con vocabulary or pronunciation, pues que también lo puedan como tomar nota y después me pregunta. Give me one second. I need to get my wife. Check, check the conversation. 
identify the meaning, identify the context of the conversation. Mm -hmm. Identify the difficult words in meaning and pronunciation. All right. Got it. Le está preguntando qué qué va a hacer el jueves porque le dice que justo voy a, a, a revisar la producción uh -huh. eh, de los productos y escribir el reporte acerca de por qué. Uh -huh. Y Why? le dice, <risa> uh -huh. le dice que porque necesita, me imagino que significa una, uno, someone. Uh -huh. Necesita, necesita ayuda con, ajá, necesita alguien para que le ayude a mover, creo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Some boxes, no sé si es el producto o qué es. Cajas. Algunas cajas. Uh -huh. Y que si le puede ayudar, por favor. hacerlo el martes, el jueves o martes? Thursday es jueves, yes. El jueves. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué tienes que hacerlo el jueves? ¿Qué tienes que hacer el jueves? Como, o sea, en, la, en nuestros trabajos tenemos obligaciones, ¿verdad? Por eso estoy como tratando de subrayar acá el have to. ¿Qué tiene que hacer el jueves? ¿Sí? ¿Yes? Como, ¿cuál es su obligación del jueves? What do you have to do? Uh -huh. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for the new product, for the new product and write a report about it. Right? Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do it? Can you do me a favor? Sure, what is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay? All right. Hasta donde Fernando nos había interpretado, ¿alguien más quiere continuar? Somebody else? Uh -huh. Por ahí se le ha Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? ¿Me podría hacer un favor? Sure. Okay. What is it about? Uh -huh. Un favor. Uh -huh. ¿Podrías ayudarme a hacer un favor? No. ¿Puedes hacer un favor? Que hay que hacer? No, seguro. Claro. ¿De qué ah, se ¿de trata? Qué se... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y aquí él le hace otra pregunta, o sea, le pregunta que qué tiene que hacer el señor Ruiz ese día. Me imagino que el señor Ruiz ha de ser un asistente o alguien que, que colabora, ¿verdad? Con las diferentes áreas, ¿ok? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? No I'm not so seguro. sure, no estoy tan seguro. Estoy seguro. Ajá, no estoy seguro. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? ¿A qué horas termina él? Su jornada, ¿a qué horas termina de trabajar? Trabajo. Ajá, el Thursday. Or when does he have free time? O cuando tiene chance, o cuando tiene tiempo, right? Ok. Bye. Never, never. <laughs> He's always busy. Ok. Aquí solo traté de enfatizar el have to, porque I have to es tengo que hacer algo. ¿Yes? Aquí no es, ah, tengo una computadora, tengo un libro. No, no es de posesivo, es de obligation. ¿Yes? Por eso dice, what do you have to do on Thursday? ¿Qué es lo que tenés que hacer el Thursday? I just checked the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? 
or when does he have free time? All right. ¿Hay alguna, alguna duda con la pronunciación o el significado de las palabras? Do you have any question? Yes, no. Someone se is pronunciation. Someone. Someone. Or... someone. Someone. I need someone to help me move some boxes. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Algo más? Diana? Miss, yo tengo una pregunta. Tell me. Me da pena, pero no se detiene una laguna mental. ¿Qué significa about? <laughs> about es una palabra como de. O sea, about es como acerca de. de o eso. sobre. Sobre eso. Ajá. O sea, por eso le es una palabra como Porque es una preposición que puede significar varias cosas, dependiendo de cómo lo estemos usando. Por ejemplo, si usted me dice, How are you? Y yo le digo, I'm fine. What about you? Lo que estoy haciendo es, ah, ¿y usted? Lo que estoy haciendo es regresándole la misma pregunta. En este caso, dice que él tiene que chequear la producción. En, en español suena redundante, de un nuevo producto. Y escribir un reporte acerca de ese producto. Por eso es about it. Uh -huh. Clear. De hecho, la, la traducción dice de qué se trata. Ajá. Así textual. <ríe> Exacto. Escribir un reporte de lo que se trata, el, ese producto, ¿verdad? Del que voy a chequear. About it. All right. No more questions. Are you sure? Okay. Bye. Just to practice, just for fun. Vamos a practicar la conversation, ¿ok? Practiquenla tal cual está, si ustedes le quieren cambiar algún detalle, es fine, siempre y cuando tenga sentido. No vayan a cambiar como mayor cosa, pueden cambiar los nombres, pueden cambiar las actividades de lo que tienen que hacer, pueden cambiar el día, pero manteniendo el mismo formato, ¿ok? Let me see, here we go. Sí. Solo es de practicar el diálogo, ¿verdad? Aquí, aquí dice. Solo, solo la, la, la. Como algún, los nombres ¿No que podíamos cambiar, pero si gusta, lo podemos hacer. Lo, o sea, le vamos a cambiar algo. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. ¿Quién empieza? Si gusta, yo voy a iniciar. Y no sé quién va a ser el completo. O vamos a ir un nombre cada uno. No, claro. Si quiere, empezamos dos primero. Está bien. ¿Quiere? Si quiere, Rodrigo, le pone silencio para que se oiga. La, Ay, así, porque ahorita todavía no. Tiene un chancecito acá. Bueno. Listo. Dele, Margarita. Gracias, René. What do you, what do you have to do on Thursday? Así se pronuncia, Thursday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, yes. What, what do you have to do on Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh -huh. Okay. I Thanks. just uh, I just checked the production for the new products and write a report about it. Why? Because I I need some to help someone. 
someone. Uh -huh. Some because someone. I knew someone uh -huh. to help me move some box. Mo. You... Yes. Mo. Mo. To Sí, help uh -huh. me, to help me more. Uh -huh. Some, some no, boxes. Some, some boxes. To help me mod some boxes. Uh -huh. Can you do me a favor? A favor, uh -huh. A favor. Me que se me hizo grande. Gracias. Ok, vamos a ver. On... She finished to work on Thursday or when 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 those uh, we have free time. Free time. Tengo una duda. When does he have free time? What do you he What do you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for the new product in Sí, lo mandé. Yo ahorita lo veo. Porque sí. Tenemos que que hacer la conversation. Ajá. Tenemos que hacer el mismo diseño o cambiándole nuestras actividades. Iris. Mhm. Uh -huh. So want to help me book some boxes. Can you do me a power power says favor favor can you do me a favor sure what is it about what does mr ruiz have to do that bueno, intercambiamos comienzo yo what do you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for the new product and got a report about it. Why? Because I need someone. Can you uh, can, do me can, or Ken? Ken. Can, can, can you do? Can do you? <laughs> ah, can you do? Uh, can you do can me a you favor? Can you do me a favor? Can uh, you do me a favor? Trata okay. de darle como una acentuación como que estás haciendo. Uh -huh. I'm not so. I'm not so sure. Uh, sure. I'm not, I'm not so sure. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Um, what time does she finish to work on Thursday? Or when does she have a free time? Yo seré. Sure, what's it about? What what does what does uh, Mr. Reese have do to do that day? I am not so sure. What time what time does uh, he finish to work on the Thursday or when well, when does uh, he have free time? Ahora, hoy yo empiezo. Bye. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just, I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. What? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. 
what is about. What does Mr. Ruiz have to do today? No, perdón, perdón. How does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Comienzo yo. <laughs> Hasta que se nos oiga así fluido. Que, que esté bien a saber, pero que se nos oiga fluido. Voy a pedir a la palabra, toda la, la oración. Gustar. Yo solo. Uh -huh. I accept, yo solo chequeo. Uh -huh. I accept the production. Ok. Dale. Ya check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is? What time does? He finished to work on Thursday on Windows. He have free time. Free time. Oye, voy a Sí, inicias tú. Okay. Uh, what do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What's it about? Uh, what does Mr. Reese have to do today? I am not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or uh, when does he have free time? Creo que ya... Cuatro, creo. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Veamos, se me perdió el diálogo. La última repasada. What do you have to do on? I just, just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Uh, because, I'm, uh, because I need someone to help me move some boxes, uh, can, you, can you do me a, a favor? Sure, sure. What's it about? What does, Mr. Reese? How do you do that day? I am not so sure. What time does he finish work on Thursday or when does uh, he have free time? Time. Free time. Free time. Free time. Es que alguna sí cuesta, ¿verdad? Sí, o sea, cuando lleva el hilo uno, como cambia un poco ya. Ajá. <laughs> Es que como, le cambia como la, la tonalidad. Ajá. Que se nos oiga así un poco americano. Es cierto. Vaya, hoy otra vez. Hasta que lo memoricemos. <risa> vale. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just said solution for the new product and write a report about it why because i need some someone to help me move some boxes can you do me a favor so what is about 
What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I am not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Uh, what do you have to, to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about I know say about it. Why? Well, because I need someone to help me uh, move some some boxes. Uh, can you do me a favor? Sure. What's it about? What does Mr. Reed have to you that day? I am not so sure. But what time does uh, he finish to work on the Thursday on when those ha uh, he have free time? Okay. <laughs> 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 What do you have to do on Thursday? I just take the production for the new product and the right report about why, about it why. Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure, what is about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday or when does he have free time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pero que lo estemos pronunciando bien a saber, que se, ya se me está oyendo bonito. Al menos las palabras que yo. Es. Mm -hmm. Es y la. Ay. No, y. 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 Ajá. Y que la e es mío. Ajá, tiene que ver el letrear, aprender a letrear rápido para que no le cueste leer. D, E, okay. C, I, U, S, E. Because. Because. Uh -huh. Es el truco también para saber cómo suena. Démosle, right. pues. What do you have to do on Tuesday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Ahí está, ya lo hizo más rápido. Because <laughs> I need someone. What is about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do today? I am not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Oh, let's see. Here are you. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for the new product and write the report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does what does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? And with those he have free time? Finish? Yes. 
great. Okay, we are waiting for the others to return. <laughs> This meeting is being recorded. Oh no. Okay. Everybody's back? Yes. Done. Okay, great. Awesome. Bye. Me escriban en el chat. From one to three. ¿Cómo les fue? Three, perfect. Two, so so. One, difficult. <laughs> All right. Three, three, three. Good, 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 good. All right. Ok, ¿de qué se pudieron dar cuenta? Yo vi y escuché por ahí algunos análisis. ¿Qué requieren los, los dialogues? ¿Qué requieren las conversations? Saber de letrear. Spell, spell the words. Ok, uh -huh. ¿qué más? Practice. A lot of practice. practice. Exactly. Practice and pronunciation. Practice pronunciation. Yeah, puntu punctuation. 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 The same. Mm -hmm. Intonation. Eso le iba a decir. Sí, porque al inicio empezamos como preocupados por palabras. Sí, como palabra por palabra, un poco robotizado. Pero ya después, conforme lo vamos diciendo. Y no es como que, ay, que la Miss este, nos deja un montón de tiempo ahí. Pero, the more you practice, the better. O sea, entre más se practica, mucho mejor, porque le va a salir con más naturalidad. No nos sale Así. igual la primera vez que después de 10 veces de decirlo, ¿verdad? Hace un buen rato con la misma palabra. ¿Con cuál? Eh, la, el, can you do me a favor? Really? Uh, uh, ya pasé. <risa> Ahí sale, pasa ahí. Vaya, pero ahora ya no lo va a decir este más cuando le toque preguntarle a un American, can you do me a favor? <risa> All right. Do me a favor, please. Qué right. Nice. No, y todavía que había otras palabras un poquito quizás más desconocidas, ¿verdad? Porque favor es la misma palabra en español, solo que se pronuncia favor. El problema era combinarla con el Ah, que okay. do me, oración. do me a favor. But Igual you had Isaac, el... and Isaac is a very good teacher as well. Yes. Igual la que estaba... Bien. Yes. Igual hay una que había... What? Espérame, aquí lo tengo. Hay una que dice... And it's someone. That, have that day. Ah, oh. suena como un trabajo de la day. Do that. <laughs> what do you have to do that day <laughs> yes and imagine it's just word by word and it's, it goes very slow imagine when you listen that from an, an american or an african-american <laughs> that is even Ellos suelen comerse las palabras. <laughs> I know, imagínense, y esto es que digamos que un American habla bonito, no digamos que tiene gordito. que escuchar un African American, o un Hindu, o un Asian, <laughs> that is even more difficult, I know, but it's okay, it's okay, we are progressing, that's nice, Bye. vamos a tomar el atendance porque si ya veo más personas, wow, Marcela ya no se unió, ¿verdad? Andrea, Present. Blanca, Present. Diana, Present. Edgar, Present. Edith, not here, Fernando, Present, okay, Margarita, Present, Miss. Isaac. Hello, present. Daniel. Jocelyn. Hi. <laughs> okay, Manuel. 
Present. Present. Present, Miss. Raúl. Rodrigo. En Sandra. Ok. Yes. Ah, sí, así. One day I'm going to show you a picture. Es que ellos son terribles. El mío, mira, cómo es. Es tan pequeña que nunca se ha podido subir ni siquiera a la grada. No, ella de verdad nunca, nunca pudo. Ya tiene 10, casi 10 años. She's very old, but she's noisy. Ok. Oh, let me see if you can see her. No, because you're going to play. It's a difficult mess. Let me see, let me see. No, no, no va a poder por el, por el, por el background. I'm sorry, next time I'm going to show you a photo. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. Let's continue. Déjenme regresar por acá. Bye. All right. We just practiced this conversation, lo que acabamos de hacer. Y vamos a escuchar algunos partners. Okay. Veamos, Rodrigo, who was your partner? Sí. Sí. Isaac. Isaac, okay. So, Rodrigo is Kevin, Isaac is Albert. Ready? Ready. One, two, have... three. What do you have to do on first day? I just checked the production for the new product and write the report about it. Why? Because I need some someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do, do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have a picture? Thumbs up. <laughs> Clap. Excellent. Ya algunos ya encontraron las reactions. Nice. Good job. Good job. Let's see. Andrea, choose a partner. <laughs> mm, I have two. <laughs> choose one. Um, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, all right. So you start and Jocelyn does the part from Albert. Yes? Okay. One, two, three. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is what is it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Ooh, thumbs up. Good job. All right. I hadn't noticed that Jocelyn's middle name is Angelina, like Angelina Jolie. Nice. All right, Daniel. Daniel, choose a partner. Manuel. Manuel. So Daniel does the first part and Manuel does the second part. Ready? Ready. Ready. One, two, three, go. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some box. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What it what it is about? What does Mr. Reese, Reese have to do that day? 
I'm not so sure. What time doesn't he finish to work on Thursday? Or when doesn't he have free time? Okay, good. What does, yes, what time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? All right. Let's see, Edgar, who is your partner? Sandra. Sandra, okay. <laughs> so Edgar is star and Sandra does the second part. Ready? One, two, three, go. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because because I need someone to help me uh, move some box. Can you do me a favor? Sure, what's it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I am not so sure. What time does uh, he finish to work on Thursday or when does he have free time? When does he have free time? All right, perfect, good job. Let's see, who else? Who else, who else? Jane, who was your partner? So, who was it? Fernando. Fernando, all right. One, two, three, go. What do you have to do on Tuesday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure, but it's about. What does Mr. Fernando have to do the that day? I am not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Tuesday? Or when does he have free time? Great. Good job. Ya se nos vaya como que somos dos gringos. Casi. <laughs> Casi. Casi. Almost there. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Margarita, are you ready? Ready. <laughs> All right. And Blanca. Yes, ready, Blanca? Diana. Oh, Diana was your partner. Yes. Ah, so I practice with Margarita and you practice with Diana. Yes? Yes. Okay, so Margarita, are you ready? Ready. All right. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about in why. Uh, because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? Not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Claps. Ah. <laughs> Margarita just did the easy part. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I know. Okay, Blanca and Diana. Ready? Ready. All right. One, two, three, go. What do you have to do on Thursday? I used I used to check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? 
what does Mr. Diana have to do that day? I am not sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Ooh. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Vamos a ver. Acá. Let's check. Si se fijan, tenemos una question. Que usa does Mr. Reese have to do the day. Entonces, como es Mr. Reese el sujeto, usamos el auxiliary does. What do you do you have to do on Thursday? Like the first one. But do because the subject is you. But does because it's Mr. Reese. It's he. So what does Mr. Reese have to do that day? What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time, right? So if you see, we have been introduced to the questions. O sea, la misma estructura vamos a seguir. Solo que el do es para I, you, we, they. Y el does es para he, she, it. Pero siempre es en el mismo orden, ¿verdad? Question word, auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement. Si ustedes aprenden eso, es como, ah, you got the formula. ¿Ya? Yeah? Bye. Y aquí tenemos las questions. Les doy un segundito para que ustedes las observen y vean. Ah, esto es lo que tenemos que hacer. Read the conversation and circle the correct word in bold. Bold significa que está en negrito. ¿Ok? Then answer the questions. No solo es seleccionar cuál es el auxiliar correcto de las dos opciones que les dan, sino también responder las preguntas de acuerdo a la conversation. ¿Está claro? ¿Es it clear? Yes, it is. Vaya. Como les quiero ayudar. <laughs> what do or what does Albert have to do on Thursday? Does. What does. What does. does Albert have to do on Thursday? What does Albert have to do on Tuesday? All right. Why Thursday. do or mm. does Kevin need that. help? Why do. does Why does Kevin need help? Why does Kevin help? need help? Need help. Why? Why does Kevin Why? need help? Mm -hmm. Who do, do or who does you think is going to help Kevin? Who do you who? think? Who do you? Because you have who you. Who do you think? Who do you think is, is going, going to help Kevin? To help Kevin. Mm -hmm. ¿Quién cree que le va a ayudar a Kevin a mover las boxes? What do or what does Mr. Reese do on Thursdays? Does. What does, what does Mr. Reese do on Thursdays? Bye. Ya tenemos las questions. Pueden hacer su screenshot. Ahora les corresponde responderlas de acuerdo a la conversation. Yes? Ay, no. Ay, no. <ríe> es easy. Ustedes saben, solo es cuestión de ir buscando ahí. En la, en la misma conversation está la respuesta. Hasta subrayada casi que está. <ríe> Don't tell me. Qué bonito. <laughs> Bien ordenado, lo tiene. Aquí, aquí voy haciendo mi libro yo. Mi... Super. Ah, Interesante. Ah.
Ajá. Ahí tengo un archivo por cada clase. Ay, qué bueno. Bien ordenado. Así se facilita el estudio. Ah, eh, ajá, para repasar mañana. Si queda chance. Ay, casi no. <risa> Vaya. Según la pregunta, number one. Dice, what does Albert how? ¿Qué es lo que va a hacer Albert el martes, el jueves? Tuesday. Ajá, el Tuesday. Ya lo encontré en el libro. Lo voy a compartir. Es que todo lo trabajo y ya trabajo por Bueno, lo ven. No muy bien. Solo que aquí Estoy... no lo... Ah, tal vez aquí lo puedo hacer aquí. más. Yo lo, yo lo puedo aumentar aquí. Ya lo hice más. Vaya, aquí ya lo moví. Vaya. Aquí la pregunta la... sería... Ajá. No ¿Cómo es sería la pregunta? Vaya, aquí sería... What does... Sí. Albert. Aquí era guay. Das Kevin. Hudu. Tu Hudu. Y what does Mr. Ruiz? What does? Ahora la respuesta. What does Albert have to do on Thursday? Podría ser la respuesta Albert have to check the production the production Albert. and write a report about it. Albert has has verdad. Ha. Ah, sí, 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 porque de él. Albert has to check Ajá. Uh -huh. check the production. the production. Check the production. For the new product. Product. Miss. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? <laughs> Dice. Ya, ya sabemos que, pero para empezar, la, la, la respuesta es he, uh, he, he does Albert o he. Cualquier de Albert o he. Ya sabemos que, a quién se están refiriendo. Uh -huh. She, entonces, he has to check the production. Uh -huh. she, entonces podría ser he, Albert, check the production for the new product. <risa> Dios Blanca es un éxito usted es un éxito. o sea lo digo en Albert o he pero no las dos Ajá, porque si yo digo he yo estoy viendo él o sea y me preguntaron por Albert si me estoy refiriendo a Albert uh -huh. entonces puede quedar he has o to check the production for the new product he has Ajá, porque acuérdense que el have para la tercera persona se convierte en has ok Uh -huh. He has check the production for the new product. Exactly. Que le dije, las respuestas están justo en la conversación. Write a report. And write a report. He check the mm -hmm. production. Okay, so it's uh, uh, write a report for the new tenemos que ponerle a esta la misma Miss Hello a esta pregunta le vamos a poner una respuesta exactly pero la respuesta ah. ya está en la en la conversation ah, ah que la, la la anterior bien la conversation que practicamos hasta el cansancio ¿Eh? la, <ríe> la anterior ah, ah. ah. 
Entonces dice Hapus todos tres. Por ejemplo, acá sería Ajá. la pregunta: ¿What does dice Albert que, have to do on Thursday? Uh -huh. de, dice que va a check the production for the new product. Uh -huh. Exactamente eso. Ah, no, está fácil. I told you, no sé por qué pusieron esa cara cuando le dije, ahí está la answer. <ríe> It's just a matter of reading. Production. Production. Eh, Tendría que poner todo o solamente por un check the production. Complete sentence. O sea, siempre acostúmbrense en inglés, aunque ya se entienda, si solo digo check the production and write a report. He has to check the production of a new product and write a report. Es mejor saber la respuesta larga así no me va a afectar cuando no me esté dando a entender por decir algo. Mm -hmm. Ok. Better. Uh, uh, vaya hasta ahí, vamos. ahí sería eh, pero ahí sería por ejemplo Albert eh, have to check the exactly. production exactly, uh -huh. les faltó como el sujeto de la el oración. sujeto uh -huh. he has al principio uh -huh. en vez de check tendría que ir Albert uh, Albert eh, have to check the production Albert have to Ah, sí. Albert have to check. Has. Check. Has to. Sí. Porque es third has person. To. Has to check. Third person. Tiene razón. Has. ¿Cómo es? Pero la S le falta. <risas> Albert has to check the production. Así. Ah, El D, 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 D. No, Spanish. Tú, aquí, mis. Exactly. No. The. Albert. Has to check the, the, the production. Uh, Antes de production, he escrito una palabra en español. Ese de que acaba de poner ahí va antes de production. Esta, no, ya me confundí. Escúchelo. Ajá. Albert has to check the. Ah. <laughs> Así ah. I do. I do think. Que el Albert. Creo que ahí la responderíamos como en primera persona. Ah. Entonces. Sería I do think. Yo pienso que podría ser. To help, to help Albert. Que no quedan en nada. Ah, sí, habría que complementar. Sería. Estamos bien ahí, teacher. Respondiendo en primera persona. Ok. ¿Qué pregunta? Número 3. Ajá. What is the question? Who do you think is going to help Kevin? Uh -huh. I think. Do. Ahí ya no va el auxiliar. No, en la respuesta no necesitamos un auxiliar. Uh -huh. I think. ¿Quién cree que va a ayudar a Kevin? I think Mr. Ruiz is going to help Kevin. Or I think Albert is going to help Kevin. ¿Quién de las dos cree que le va a ayudar a Kevin? ¿Albert o Mr. Ruiz? Pues yo digo que Albert. Entonces está así, porque igual es una pregunta de opinión. ¿Qué piensa usted? Uh -huh. I think Albert is going to help Kevin. Respuesta libre. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Qué hará, ¿Qué hará Mr. Ruiz el jueves? Y si nosotros respondemos sería, él le ayudará el jueves a Kevin a mover las cajas. Así.
Sí, podría ser. O sea, solo cómo responder en tercera persona. Ajá. Solo que le varía. ¿El que le, le está variando ahí? Una pronunciación ahí. Él le ayudará el jueves a Kevin a mover. O sería le, le ayudar a mover las cajas. Sí. Porque le, le ay Hay que pedirle copia a la teacher. Vamos a tener que poner atención a Dios. Sí, para ver si, es, si Mr. Will le va a ayudar a Kevin. Ahí es cualquiera de las dos posibilidades. ¿Quién creen que le va a ayudar? ¿Mr. Will o Albert? Ya pueden decir. I think Mr. Will is going to help Kevin. Or I think Albert is going to help Kevin. De lo que ustedes opinan. Nosotros sí. suponemos que ni se fue. Okay. <ríe> Albert ya no le dijo nada. Y vea, se hizo el de los fans. Sí. <ríe> I'm sorry, I'm busy. I have to check the production. Es escribir un rapport. O sea, I can't. Ajá, ya le dijo que va a estar ocupado. Te uh -huh. la responsabilidad. Sí. Sí, andar moviendo cajas. ¿no? Muy pesado. <ríe> Heavy. Ah, entonces se dicen, I think Mr. Reed is going to help out. Oh, Kevin, sorry, yes. Repeat me. It's English. We does Kevin need help because he doesn't stun it. Number three. Could do you think is going to help Kevin? Your friends. <laughs> Four, what does Mr. Ruiz do on Tuesday? I am not sure. No le vamos a preguntar algo a la misma, ¿no acuerdo? Ah, yo sí. ¿Qué era? ¿Qué era? Lo del study. No. Ah, no. ah, sí, está bien. Ah, pero al final no lo pusimos. O sea, ah, lo quitamos, lo pusimos así. Ah, no, 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 aquí está bien. Ahí la, la mayúscula no se la puse al principio. <ríe> la, la de aquí. What does Albert have to do on Thursday? Is he study or he studies? He studies English es correcto, pero de acuerdo a la conversation. Podía decir study. No, 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 no. De acuerdo a la conversación, ¿qué es lo que realmente tiene que hacer el Thursday? Oh, no. <ríe> oh. Ah. I don't know. I don't la... know. Nosotros, nosotros a poder estudiar lo pusimos. Está bueno. Para que vea qué hace, pero no pues sí. estudie. <ríe> No, y está bien. tiene que, que revisar la production y escribir un reporte. Bye. Ya lo borramos. <ríe> no, solo recuérdense de la, de la conversation que acaban de practicar. Sí. Ajá, ahí está. Tiene que ayudarle al otro. Exacto. Ah, ah por es que no hay nosotros para inventar. Nosotros Por eso que dijo que ahí estaba la respuesta. Nosotros inventados estábamos aquí. <risa> ok. Vamos a ver dónde está.
Miss, we have a question. Tell me. Queremos saber si la 3 <laughs> estaría bien así. Es que no sabemos qué poner. Who do you think is going to help Kevin? Mr. Reese could be. O ustedes simplemente dicen, I think Mr. Reese is going to help Kevin. Ah. Es como, ¿qué es lo que ustedes creen? ¿Quién creen Ajá. que van a ayudar? Si el Albert ya dijo que él está bien ocupado en Tarsi. Ajá. Entonces sí. Sí, yes. podría ser así. Yeah, Mr. Reese. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí. Y en la cuatro, Ajá. tampoco sabíamos qué poner. <ríe> Pusimos lo de la conversación. What does Mr. Reese do on Thursday? I'm not so sure. Ajá, porque en realidad no, no está como claro qué es lo que le toca hacer el Thursday a Mr. Reese. ¿verdad? No dice. Uh -huh. I'm not so sure. Está bien. Ok. So finished, right? All right. Finished? Yeah. Finished. No problems? Um, Just with the last question. All right. What does Mr. Reese do on Thursday? I I That's pretty good, actually. I'm not so sure because what the, Mr. Reese does on Thursday. Uh -huh. The conversation no didn't provide him. Yeah. There's no information in the conversation. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not so sure, or we are not so sure. Miss. Yes. En la última no sabemos ni qué hace, si es que se la puso ahí. Yeah, it's fine. Yes, you can say, I'm not so sure, or in your case that you were working in pairs, you can say, we are not so sure what he does on Thursday. ¿Por qué yes. será que en inglés no existen las comas? Sí, existen. Lo que pasa es que nosotros apenas vamos a... Very simple sentences. <laughs> pero, bueno, bueno. Yes, pero sí existen. They ya exist. me asustó, ya no. me asustó, ya no hablé. No. Solo estamos haciendo <laughs> simple sentences. Simple questions only. Pero, pero, mis que tengo que copiar todo eso. All right, <laughs> no problem. No, igual tenemos que estar esperando un grupo que se habían equivocado de, de instruction y estaban haciendo, inventando la respuesta, no lo estaban haciendo en base a la, a la conversation. So we have to wait. Uy, qué triste. Ay. <laughs> ah, some other people were waiting for the screenshot and I, and I thought you already had the manual. So that's another, another problem as well. Le entendí el 50% de lo que dijo. <risa> que habían otros que estaban esperando los screenshots. Yo pensé que ya lo estaban trabajando en el manual. Yo tenía el manual, pero eh, Isaac no lo tiene. Ah, ok. Entonces, no, por no. eso le, le, le escribí ahí para que a ver si ah, lo mandaba. Ah, ok. No, pero yo estaba como, wow, where do we copy the questions? <risa> That's fine, no problem. So sure, I guess. Miss. Hello. Y la cuatro sería he is not sure or he is doesn't sure. ¿Qué les pregunta? Repeat the question. Ahorita. What, what does Mr. What does Mr. Ruiz do on Thursday? Ok, les preguntan que qué es lo que hace el señor Ruiz on Thursday. Uh -huh. Y en la conversación dice qué es lo que él hace on Thursday o no dice. Pues no estoy seguro. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí. póngale lo mismo. I'm not so sure what he does on Thursday. No estamos seguros de qué es lo que hace on Thursday el señor Ruiz. He's not sure. No, I'm not. Porque a ustedes les preguntan. I'm not. I'm not so sure what he does on Thursday. Entonces, he 
I'm not sure. No, el he, el he no va al inicio, solo I'm not okay. sure what he I'm does. Not sure. I'm not sure uh -huh. what he does on Thursday. No estoy seguro de lo que él hace el jueves. What he does. Uh -huh. On Thursday. I'm not sure what he does on Thursday. Yes. Yes. Thank All right. You. You're welcome. Let's see. Full verb, yes. Done. Okay, people coming back. All right. Meeting is being recorded. Okay. Finish, right? Sudaron las neuronas. Casi se me acaba, mi. Qué exagerated son. Calambres, maestro. Los calambres mentales. Pero yo les dije, ahí está la respuesta. Es como que le den una paz ya resuelta. ¿vale? <ríe> ok, y si no, ahí están las, las doctors para que les den las merecen. <ríe> Veamos. Easy peasy. Esto estaba regalado. Ajá, uh -huh. what does Albert have to do on Thursday? ¿Qué le pusieron? Albert has to check the production for the new product, product and write report. Uh -huh. Podría haber dicho Albert or he. Si ya saben a quién se está refiriendo, lo podrían haber sustituido por el pronombre he, ¿verdad? Okay, Era has. mejor lo más seguro. Ajá, uh -huh. pero está lo más seguro, right? Oh, has to check a product, has to check. Uh -huh. the, the production production for of, the new uh -huh. for the new product and write report and write a report esa creo que era la más larga about it <laughs> todavía about it todavía le tengo que poner eso <laughs> All right. Well, con que dijeran, he has to check the production of a new product and write a report. It's fine. Miss okay. Le Fortuna T. I know. Thank you. All right. Number two. Why does Kevin need help? Because he needs to move some boxes. Mm -hmm. Because. He needs to move some boxes. That's all. Because he needs to move some boxes and he needs some help, somebody to help. All right? Number three. Who do you think? Cuando les preguntan, do you think? Están diciendo, en su opinión, ¿qué cree? ¿Qué piensa usted? Who do you think is going to help Kevin? 
Pero dijo que ahí estaba la respuesta, ahora dice que... Ah, pues sí, pero de, acu de acuerdo a la conversación, pues. Ah, ah. <risa> Vaya, nosotros le pusimos, I think Mr. Ruiz going to the help Kevin. Ajá, vale, pero ustedes inician, I think, yo creo que, ajá. Uh -huh. I think Mr. Ruiz is going to help Kevin. ¿Todos están de acuerdo? ¿Por qué no podría ser Albert el que le ayude a Kevin? Because he's so busy. He's busy. He has to check the production. He has to write a report of a new product, right? That's right. So, I think Mr. Ruiz is going to help happen. All right? Mm -hmm. All right. And what does Mr. Ruiz does? Oh, what does Mr. Ruiz do on Thursday? En esa fue bien divertido porque literal <risa> no se sabe. Ajá, no se sabe. No se no dice la conversión. La conversación, esa información no está provided. So this information confidential. <risa> so ¿Qué dijeron ahí? I'm not so sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. I am not so sure what Mr. Ruiz does mm -hmm. on Thursday. Okay. Does on Thursday. All right. Perfect. Done. Vaya, ven, no estaba difícil. It was very easy. Y como ya todos lo tenían resuelto, no problem. Ok. Solo para que tengan la idea, la siguiente lesson trata de cómo hacer questions cuando el sujeto es he, she, or it. Que necesitamos el auxiliary task, ¿verdad? Bueno. Hemos llegado a la tercera tendencia. Dice present. Andrea. Present. Blanca. Present. Diana. Present. Edgar. Present. Fernando. Margarita. Present. Isaac. Daniel. Present, Miss. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Present. Manuel. Present. René. Raúl. Present. Present. All right. Present. Rodrigo. Es Sandra. Present. All right. Ayer nos acompañó. ¿Quién fue? Hans, ¿verdad? Hoy Hans no se pudo unir. Ya nos había acompañado. Veamos. Mm, Marcela, Andrea, Blanca. Ya no me acompañó también, ¿verdad? ¿Diana? Pero se puede quedar otra vez, dice. Yo lo acompañé. Sí, es true. ¿Diana? Ya estuvo, ya lo hice, Miss. Ya. Ah, oh, vaya. Pero si ni modo me toca, contarle no. la cara de viernes. <ríe> Qué mala. Edgar ya estuvo, ¿verdad? Sí, Fernando. Bien. Glenda, Margarita también. Hans, Isaac también. Daniel, nos acompañaría esta noche por 10 minutos, por favor. Sí. All right, perfecto. See you tomorrow, entonces. And tomorrow is Friday. Good night. 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 Bye. Tomorrow bye, is Thursday. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Daniel, how are you? Fine. Okay, what do you do today? 
Cuénteme algunas de las actividades que le corresponde hacer este día. ¿Qué me corresponde hacer? Ah, en la plataforma. No, en English. Cualquier actividad que le corresponde hacer el día miércoles, por decir algo. What do you do on Wednesday? En general, en la vida. <ríe> Sería, I go to work. I, uh -huh. I go to work. Mm -hmm. um, all days, the uh, draft, mm -hmm. Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Creo que se dice así. All day in traffic? Draft, draft, draft. Oh, draft, drawing draft. Draft, uh -huh. Uh -huh. draft. Blue, blueprints. Uh -huh. uh, Plugins, draft. Blue prints, prints, creo que es eso. Oh, printing. Ajá, ajá, ajá. You are an architect. Yes. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Um, create report. Mm -hmm. uh, The supervisor, the construction. Mm -hmm. To supervise the construction. San... Where? In San Salvador. In San Salvador. Mm -hmm. In San Salvador. Um, and... Y... Entre las otras actividades cotidianas. Ah. Del trabajo, sí, sí, sí. That's from work, uh -huh. um, Prepare breakfast, cook dinner, study English. What else? Este. <laughs> uh -huh. Sería, um, I grab early, early at five, at six, five thirty, at five thirty. Uh, go bedroom, no, bathroom. Uh, take a shower. shower. Mm -hmm. Take a shower. Or, mm -hmm. um, um, drive. Do you drive no, to work? No. Take the bus. Uh, the quest. Uh, take a take um, breakfast. Breakfast. Uh huh. Do you cook breakfast? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they say, uh -huh. go drive, go drive mm -hmm. uh, at the work. work. Mm -hmm. Say, at or to work. When you do the activity, go to work. But go if you, to work. Uh -huh, but if you say, estoy en el trabajo, I am at work. Una es que van a una sería, vez cuando I, va hacia el trabajo, go to work. Pero si sería, usted dice, ya está en el trabajo, I am at work. Uh, uh -huh. Sería entonces, I drive, to I work. go to, to work. Uh -huh. To work. Um, eight. A la hora de entrar al trabajo. I eight. start work at eight. I start work at work eight a.m. Uh -huh. What else? Y el retorno sería 16 p.m. Go to the house. Uh -huh. At 6. 6. At 6 p.m. Wow, uh, that is very late. Uh, the Monday to uh, Friday. From Monday to Friday. ¿Cómo dice? Como bien sería, extendido su horario. Sí. It's very long. De, de lunes a viernes. From Monday to Friday. From Monday to Friday. Uh -huh. uh, Friday. Uh, de, ¿Cómo se dice la hora? La hora de salida. Solo diga la, la, la hora, tal cual. At six, at four, at three. At six, uh, five. Or oh, at five. Oh, at five. Mm -hmm. So yeah. on Friday, you finish one hour before. 
Yes. Una hora nada más on Friday. Really? Yes. Wow. Where is it? Yes, we're almost 44 hours. You don't work on Saturday. Es para compensar lo del horario del Saturday. Yes. Correcto. Interesting. Es pesado, pero. I know. Pero es mejor. Sí, you have the weekend off. ¿Cómo sería? Amanezco durmiendo. I sleep late on Saturday. I sleep late all day Saturday. Nice. And Sunday too. And Sunday. Do you have children? Yeah. How many children? Two children. How old are they? Uh... Children's and third twenty three. Twenty three. Uh twenty three. No, no, perdón. Sea como se dice trece. Thirteen. 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 Yo digo, wow. No, 20. <laughs> Qué <Yeah>. grande. <laughs> It's no. a boy or a girl? Uh, girl and boy. A girl and the girl uh -huh. is 13. No. The boy. The boy. The boy the is girl. 13 and the girl? And the girl uh, 11, 11. 11, two years. 11. Uh -huh. mm, nice. Yeah, and they go years. to school. Yeah. They go to school or they receive online classes? Um Mix. Mix. Uh -huh. Some days they go to school and some days they receive online classes. Yeah. Oh my God. Imagine after two years of pandemic, they still receive online classes. Uh -huh. Interesting. And what day do they go to school? ¿Qué día se me toca ir presencial? On Monday, so, on yeah, Tuesday, no. on Wednesday. Monday, Wednesday, and, and Friday. Friday. Uh, Friday, Friday. And two days at home. Yeah. Um, Tuesday and Thursday. And Tuesday. And, see? Thursday. But yeah, Thursday. If, if on Tuesday, Friday. on Tuesday, el martes. And on, on Thursday, Tuesday. el jueves. Mm -hmm. On Tuesday and Thursday, they stay at home. Yeah. Home office. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and it took us home office in the 2020. See, sí. home office. Home office. <laughs> home office. Six months. Everybody was home office. Everybody yeah. working and everybody is studying home office. Los primeros dos o tres meses, I was freaked out. Yo de verdad creí que nunca más íbamos a volver a salir de las casas. No, no, no. It was very difficult. Seis meses. Literal. Desde casa. Sí, igual Hasta nosotros. Todos... Sí, pero los primeros dos meses fueron los que yo más estrictamente no salí ni al pasaje. Y yo pensé que si salía inmediatamente me iba a enfermar. So, a veces, ya después de esos dos meses, yo dije no. Cuando Mala a veces... Psicosis. Sí, cuando ya había como medio pasado el estrés de todas aquellas cadenas de televisión. En la noche cuando ya medio terminaba la jornada de pasar todo el día enfrente de la compu, agarraba el carro y me iba a dar una vuelta just because. En la noche, son uh -huh. Sí, pero ahí como alrededor de los seis meses. Sí, a veces llegaba hasta allá por Santa Tecla, just driving obviously no 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 me bajaba porque supuestamente was really dangerous no pero el inicio creo que sí was really dangerous thank god okay. ya, ya ya está pasando hay algo más que, que quiera preguntar Mr. Daniel algo que quiera que aclaremos sobre la estructura la gramática el vocabulary con la gramática sí me cuesta un poco hay que ajá, tomar nota si puede a mano o screenshots y tener como eso, ¿verdad? Recordar, uh -huh. recordar cuál es el orden en el que deben ir las palabras o esas como reglas que se deben cumplir, por ejemplo, para 
formular oraciones afirmativas, oraciones negativas, preguntas, ¿dónde va el orden de la, del auxiliar? ¿O con cuál auxiliar va tal sujeto? ¿O para cuál sujeto está la auxiliar? Y eso. Tomar nota y de repente quizás eh, cuando esté completando la, la platform, tratar de llevar esos apuntes para que usted diga, ah, es por esto, así ah, debo hacerlo, o esta debo elegir, ¿ya? Entonces eso. ¿Y con la plataforma cómo la ido? ¿Ya logró avanzar? Un poquito. <risa> tengo, que, tengo que meterle porque... Ya se había trazado. Que... Sí. Sí, eso estaba Hay bien. Okay. ¿Y al inicio no, no le había hallado o qué? Pues más que todo el tiempo. El tiempo, sí, es dedicarle tiempo, sí, definitivamente. Y es de sentarme, por lo menos, yo considero que una... Media un hora, media hora diario, tal vez. Uh -huh. Pero no hacerlo quizás tan extenuante, pero sí, dedicarle tiempo. Ok, sí. y por lo general, ¿qué le ha parecido? La Muy experiencia. Bien. Un, poco, un poco intensivo. <risa> Siente que va intensivo. Sí, porque estoy con tela de araña. Ah, ya ratita no estudiaba. Sí, desde que estudié en el Tecnológico, en el ITCA, en el 2006. Ya no oh, ¡Wow! Nada de ¡Really! Sí. Imagine. Yo estuve en el Tecnológico un igual por uh, many years. Ah, ya. Yeah. No, yo estudié un técnico en arquitectura, pero a la vez nos llevaban de la mano con English. El, supuestamente inglés. No, English, no graduation. Era inglés y intensivo también, pero como era secundario y no era obligación. Ajá, y de hecho recuerdo vos. que tenían como inglés técnico, ya como especializado para la carrera, y el inglés comunicativo. Es true. Uh -huh. Y nosotros llevamos al técnico y llevamos al comunicativo. El comunicativo no estaba dentro de la currícula. Uh -huh. Era optional, pero igual les decían, no English, no graduation. Fui sí. la última promoción después y era obligado. Really? 2006. Uh -huh. Seguramente lo debía haber visto por ahí. Yo también daba clase a los técnicos. Uh -huh. uh, sí, no. <ríe> Yo me acuerdo de dos teachers que me daban clase. De hecho, es que me. En intermedio. Un, ya no pasé intermedio uno. En Westlo Urdes, ¿no? No me acuerdo cómo se llamaba la league. Eh, solo me, me acuerdo de dos leagues. Era un, un señor y una muchacha. Mm. El nombre sí, difícil. Ya, yeah, y no, sí. Delgad, era una muchacha delgadita. Sí, sí, hace rato. Sí, sí ya. Wow. 2006, ya <ríe> sí, yo empecé ahí. Desde el 2003, pero I was with children. Solo estaba en el programa de sábado de niño. Ah, ya. Yeah, sí. Y luego, sí, ya por esa fecha que usted menciona, sí, ya estaba con adultos, ya estaba con técnicos. Uh -huh. Y luego me fue a otra institución y ya. Don, ah. solo quedaba en los programas de sábado, pero ya después, igual, hasta el año pasado. O sea que ya. Varios años de. <ríe> yes, many years. Una, una, una gran experiencia yes, dando clases. Long experience. Pero aquí estamos. Cualquier cosa, pues nos los hace saber y le echamos la mano. Todo bueno. Ok, perfecto. Sí, yo tengo que igual poner mi parte para la gramática porque sí, ya son varios años que. Sí, busque, busque recursos. There are many, many videos, images, explanations. De, igual si, uh -huh. si puede, recuérdeme y yo le comparto algunos links para que pueda practicar ah, okay. más. Sí, Sobre todo on Gracias, Saturday okay. On Saturday that you don't work So una hora menos de sleep <ríe> <ríe> Y una hora más de practice <ríe> Ok sí. All right. okay. Good night Good night Bye Bye bye